What is up, YouTube, man? It's Akia Tarun Fowler back again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the medical waiver. And if I look torn up, if my face looks beat, if I look sleepy, that's because I've been working mid shift for the past two days. And I fucking hate mid shift. For those of you who don't know what mid shift is, mid shift is like where you work from midnight to eight in the morning. That shit fucking sucks. That's the only thing I hate about the military. Well, that's the only thing I hate about my shop is that we were open 24 hours, so I have to be working mid shift. But getting to the point, man, medical waiver. So when I first, I'm gonna switch hands here because my arm hurting a little bit. When I first joined the military, I had to get a medical waiver because I had surgery on my right shoulder. Everyone always asks me, where'd you get the waiver? How'd you get the waiver? Blah, blah, blah. I have a video on that. like that I did like before I even joined. So, cause I fucking forgot, it's been so long. But your recruiter does all of that stuff. Like you don't actually, there's not a place you go to get your waiver. Your recruiter does that once you say, hey, yeah, I broke my leg when I was six years old. Your recruiter is gonna, you know, examine your leg, gonna do your physical and all that stuff. And your recruiter is gonna tell you that you have to get a waiver. So, with that being said, you have to go to your doctor. You have to go to that doctor that you went to to pretty much get all that medical record stuff whatever it was anything on paper that they wrote down or anything on paper that they had up in their system you pretty much need that it's going to help the process go a lot faster so once you get those documents from your doctor you go you take it to your recruiter your recruiter will send it to these people these people we send, will send it to these people and they'll send it back down to your recruiter and it'll either get approved or to get denied if you have an injury that's really fucked up and could possibly reoccur man chances are you may or may not get in but the waiver helps you. I've never seen a case where somebody didn't get in because you know of surgery or anything like that. So don't worry, you're fine. I've never seen that happen. Um, it's really, really rare if it does. So don't worry, man. Y'all are gonna be good. But once you get all your paper and everything submitted, um, it does take a long time. So please hang in there. I know some of y'all saying, "Oh, I've been in the debt program for like a year or two years, whatever." It takes a long time. I honestly don't know why. Like I waited a year and something to get in, but it takes a really, really long time. So just hang in there, man. It's nothing your recruiter can do. It's nothing these people can do. So you really just got to hang in there and you really just got to stay healthy, stay fit, you know, before you come in. But so yeah, with my surgery, man, I was playing basketball. I was out with the fellas. We was hooping and I, you know, there was a loose ball and I go for the ball and then pop, my shoulder popped out of place. I was like, oh shit, popped it back in. You know, I'm good. Let's get some buckets, you know? And every now and then, like, I kept playing, I kept playing, and it would always pop out, and I'd pop it back in, it would pop out, and I'd pop it back in. So eventually, I had to get surgery. I had to get surgery on my shoulder. And that was about in 2012 when I had surgery. So that was a while ago, and luckily my stuff got approved. I was honestly nervous. I didn't think I would get in, but I did. So truly, truly thankful for that. If you have any medical issues, man, don't lie. Tell your recruiter straight up. Look, I broke my arm when I was six. I broke my pinky the other day, bullshitting around. Just be honest, man. There's waivers you guys can get so that you all can get accepted in the United States Air Force, man. So thank you guys for watching, man. Switch his hand, switching hands again because my arm hurt. Again, medical waiver, man, you don't have to pay anything. I, I know some of y'all like, duh, like, you know, but people ask these silly questions. We have to pay for a medical waiver. How do you get it from? Where do I go to get it? Your recruiter does all that stuff. All you have to do is gather the information from your hospital or your doctor or whatever it is you went to be seen for that case. All right. So don't be afraid, man. Medical waiver. It's easy, man. You will get approved. Don't worry. So. I hope this helped you guys, man. So I know some of y'all are probably waiting for a waiver like I did. Just hang in there, man. I've never seen someone's waiver get disapproved. I've never seen it. I know it happens, but I've never seen it myself. So thank you guys for watching, man. Close to 4,000 subscribers, baby. That is fucking crazy. I know it's not a lot to y'all, but if 4,000 people showed up to your door, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be like, what the fuck? Like 4,000 people showed up to your door. That's a lot of people, man. So Shouts out to y'all, man. Be on the lookout for more content coming soon. It's me signing out, baby. Oh!